I got today's Noir November uh, film in really, really early because I'm about to go vote. My polling place just opened, so I'm going to get there a little bit after it opened. Uh, who knows how long I'm going to stay in line. There's been super long lines uh, here. So where did my tab go? Oh, my God. Uh, hold on. Da, da, da. Okay, so I watched, like, the perfect film to watch on Election Day. Uh, it's 1951's Storm Warning. It's directed by Stuart Heisler, and it stars Ginger Rogers, Doris Day, Steve Cochran, and Ronald Reagan. And it is, like, so there's two things. One, it's timely because it's about the Klan and mob violence and the fact that uh, the Klan is the most anti-American thing that can possibly exist because the entire point of the American justice system is that you are innocent until proven guilty and that you have the right to a trial by a jury of your peers. That is now we got some flawed racial issues in our justice system and economic issues, but that is the that is the basis of it, right? And the Klan takes that whole American right away from the people that they harm because um, they're protecting the glory of the South or whatever. And it is bullshit. And that is what this film is sort of about. Um, the way it's dated is that it's 1951, and so it's not actually about the Klan lynching somebody. It's about the Klan killing a journalist who is investigating the Klan. So it's all white people. And everyone who's murdered is, is white, and just everyone involved is white. And that's it's kind of a bummer. Um, but you know the, the why the Klan exists. So, you know, that racial tension is, is there in the background. Ginger Rogers is a traveling sales model. Uh, she she and Doris Day are both about 10 years too old for the roles they're playing because Ginger Rogers was 40, Doris Day was 30. These characters clearly should be 30 and 20, but whatever, we, we'll just go with it. Um, she, she's stopping off in the town where her sister lives uh, and everything's closed down and it's really weird and she's like, it's only 10 o'clock, what's happening? And it's because everyone has cleared out of town because the KKK is about to pull someone out of jail and kill them. And so she witnesses, and not only does she witness that it's the Klan, she also witnesses two of the Klan members who were dumb enough to take off their hoods. Um, she then finds her sister, Doris Day. Her sister takes her home to meet her, her husband, who she's expecting a baby with, only for Ginger Rogers to discover that it is Steve Cochran, and he is the man who murdered the person in front of her face. So she's like, ah! And Ronald Reagan is the DA trying to um, bring down the KKK and no one will talk and he finally gets ginger rogers to say that she saw the kkk she won't say that it's her brother-in-law and he's like yes i can do something but then when she finds out that her sister is having a baby and she doesn't want to ruin her sister's life she lies on the on the stand obviously more happens uh, i don't really want to spoil the rest of it it's about halfway through the film uh it has a uh, not a happy ending. This is definitely a noir. It has a very unhappy ending, basically saying don't lie on the stand because bad things happen to people you love. Um, this film has has murder. This film has attempted rape. This film has people being shot. This film has probably pregnant women losing their child. This <laughs> That's a spoiler. I'm sorry. This film has like everything you could want in a noir, basically, except like organized crime, but uh, you could kind of call the KKK organized crime, I guess. Organized vigilantism that's terrible and anti-American. Um, so this is this was a great film. I really enjoyed it. It was on Watch TCM. Unfortunately, today it expires. So whoops. Um, but it's also available from Warner Archive Collection, so you can you can get it on DVD. You can probably rent it on VOD. Also, a lot of those films are VOD available. Uh, it's from 1951. I thought it was really good. Uh, you know, it's it's limited by the fact that it couldn't actually be about racism because it's the 50s but you know it tried and uh, I think I think everyone involved gave great performances um, this is before Doris Day was really huge too so you could see super young well super young relatively young Doris Day uh, Ginger is great everyone's great um, this is 1951 storm warning this is the eighth day of November and it is election day and you better goddamn vote because that's that's American, and that's that's a right that you have, and you should exercise it, and I'm going to go vote as soon as I upload this video.